As our tea time nears, we walk outside until the pounding, pounding rain drops on the pavement. It's only too easy to regret the missed opportunity at the 24-hour cancellation policy and question why did we sign up for this event. Today, Mr. Shore Hitter guides you through the ins and outs of, of preparing, preparing for that day when, when the, the sun, sun refuses to peek through. Hey guys, Mr. Shore Hitter here. Today I decided I want to do a quick video on how to play in the rain. The first thing you guys will notice is I've already got my rain gear on. Most likely I'm playing a public golf course that doesn't have locker rooms and things you can change in. So unless it's a really hot day, I'll come prepared already in my rain gear. The jacket, of course, we can just have it in the car and just put it on. Today it's a brisk 48 degrees so I'm gonna make sure to keep myself dry and I'm just gonna double up my rain gear and put two layers on. Really up to you whether you're going to be walking or in a cart. I personally feel like it's a little easier to stay warm and also to stay dry when you're walking, especially if you have one of these umbrella holders here. Without that, it's a problem. I've got a couple towels in my bag. I'm gonna put another towel up here. I wanna show you this. We're gonna put this in the trunk, but this bag has a change of everything. Everything that I have on now, I have another set in that bag. So let's say for instance, we have a rain delay and we can go back out. Well, if we get the chance to go back out, we may want to put on a fresh set of clothes. Having an extra set there in the car is good for that purpose. And also when we finish, we may want to do the same thing. We may want to change into a fresh set of everything. We're going to be nice and warm when we're out there this time, and we don't have to worry about being wet in any way. The most important thing is keeping our hands dry and warm. If you have a nice set of rain gloves, rain gloves, you're going to be able to grip the club regardless of whether or not those grips get wet, that's going to help. If you don't have a set of rain gloves, then you're going to need to make sure to keep everything as dry as possible and also have multiple gloves. You can keep them in a Ziploc bag. I keep them in Tupperware, just like I keep my lunch. When it gets cold, you're going to have your mittens. If you can keep your hands warm and dry, that's going to solve a lot of issues out there on the course. Extremely important you have waterproof shoes on. In that bag, I have another pair of shoes that I can change into. Same situation, if we get a rain delay in the tournament or whatever, I can change shoes, but it's important, extremely important your shoes are waterproof. If they're not, actually use something like this, like these Never Wets that you can use. This isn't a sponsored video, but maybe I'll put a link for it. You can get something like that again that you could spray on to essentially make your shoes waterproof. To me, this is a cheat code especially on a rainy day. Well, I don't know if you've ever been in a situation to where you just didn't get a chance to go get your club re-gripped and one of the grips were a little slick. Well, this 54 degree here, I've been doing a lot of short game work and it's getting kind of slick and I haven't had a chance to re-grip it. So I'm gonna spray some of this on there. Make sure you spray it in the wind and not in the grass. And now I'll sit that down for about a couple minutes while I talk to you and that grip's gonna be nice and tacky. That, my friend, is a serious cheat code, especially when you're dealing with wet weather. We're not trying to get style points, we're just trying to stay dry. So we've got our bucket hat there, just in case the water, this is gonna prevent the water from going in the other hat and it'll be a complete mess. So we can have a cold weather hat if it gets too cold, a towel under this umbrella, got a couple towels on the bag. We need towels, towels are very important so I'm gonna stick three towels in the bag, including this nice little little mermaid towel I got here. Not sure where that came from, but I'll stick that in the bag, all these towels in the bag, and I'll tell you one more key. When you finish the round, you're gonna to wanna to get into some dry clothes. You wanna be dry out there. So everything, of course, is starting with the end in mind. Let's get out there.
I don't know if you guys noticed, when I put my club down, when I was putting the head cover on it, I actually put the edge of the grip on my shoe because I don't want that club to touch the ground and then I turn that club over and then all of a sudden, water's dripping down into my golf bag, dripping on the head of my club. So I'm doing everything I can to keep everything as dry as possible. Even little things like that can make a difference by the end of the round. I've got my towel here under my umbrella, the mittens that I have, I can attach those up here, and also extra gloves in case the rain starts. Let's not let these gloves get wet, put them up there. I got towels in the bag, so we're all set. I've got my range finder in a compartment that's gonna stay dry also. We're gonna shoot the distance here, and my range finder said, what are you checking the distance for? <laughs> so the other thing we need to do in conditions like this is adjust our expectations. This hole is 410. It's playing dead into the wind. I've got 215 yards left. If we miss this green, it's okay. If we make a bogey, it's okay. Adjust your expectations because everyone is going to be battling in the same conditions you are. I'm going to hit a three wood. Got our club, it's dry, come from under the umbrella. Just a little swing to make sure we're loose. Get in here, get a feel for what we're trying to do when we get from under the umbrella. Get up here. And that's short, but again, different expectations in the rain. Dog leg left, second shot over water. I normally would probably hit a high wood and an eight iron here. High wood, nine iron, something like that. I think we want to club up swing a little easier when it's wet out. So I'll hit a three wood, a little easier. Nice and balanced. Okay, so we have 121 to the pin that I could barely see. My watch tells me I got 139 to the back of that green. I'm gonna hit a nine iron. We can hit a nice and smooth one. In these conditions, we don't really wanna jump on any shot. Hey guys. That one felt pretty good. Mr. Short Hitter here. If you dread playing in the rain, I got some tips for you that's really gonna help you out. Couple tips for you when you're playing in the rain. First of all, the ball isn't gonna fly the same. If the mud's on the left, the ball will fly right. Opposite on the right, but it may go the same height. But instead, if it's centered, it's gonna fly short. Study casual water and then come back with a report. If you're playing lift, clean in place, well then you're in luck. Keep a bag in the trunk with all your extra stuff. Garbage bag over bag or a drizzle stick. It really doesn't matter which you, you just gonna take your pick. Stocking hat, bucket hat, rain gloves, and zip locks. But please, please don't walk into the clubhouse and flip flops. No. Cold weather gloves or either hand warmers. Four to five extra towels and umbrella with a holder. Take no club and swing easy. It's, it's the same, same for everyone. everyone. So just manage your expectations and try to have some fun.